Kadyrov finds signs of fascism in Russia and declares readiness to fight it. Ramzan Kadyrov, the head of Chechnya, claimed call for fascist methods inside Russia after the terrorist attack in the Crocus City Hall near Moscow and threatened to have a short conversation with those who propagate them, according to the ISW report. Russian law enforcement states that the suspects in the attacks are citizens of Tajikistan. Information about the signs of xenophobia in Russia towards non-ethnic Russians started to appear on Russian telegram channels. For example, it was reported that taxi drivers refused to serve individuals from Tajikistan or that police raided hostels in search of migrants. The ISW reports that xenophobic rhetoric was also expressed by deputies of the state Duma. For example, a deputy from the temporarily occupied Crimea, Mikhail Sheremet, proposed to restrict the entry of migrants into Russia during the period of war against Ukraine, alleging that they are used by Western intelligence agencies. The deputy chairman of the state Duma and recent presidential candidate Vladislav Davankov proposed implementing a policy of zero tolerance for migrants who committed any offences during their year in Russia, as well as introducing digital control over them and developing a migrant replacement program. The ISW says that Kadyrov expressed concerns about Russian ultra-nationalist reaction to the Crocus City Hall attack. He said that the scale of the attack is much larger and deeper than the attack itself because Russia's enemies are trying to undermine Russia by promoting nationalism. Kadyrov stated that false patriots are trying to play on people's emotions and call for fascist methods. He threatened to have a short conversation with instigators of ethnic conflict. The Institute's experts note that Kadyrov has previously been at the centre of high-profile inter-ethnic and religious scandals, which has likely hindered his attempts to equivocate between Chechnya's defence of Islamic values and support for the increasingly ultra-nationalistic Kremlin. Ukraine might face hellish April. Military observer on Russia's missile attacks capabilities. Large-scale missile attacks on Ukrainian territory will continue in the coming months, Denis Popovich, Ukrainian military observer, suggested on Radio NV. By now, they have a stockpile of missiles, Popovich said. They made them accumulated when there was no missile strikes for 44 days. Now we are facing the same situation as last year when there was a big break before May and then there was a hellish May. I believe that we will have a hellish April because they stockpiled a lot of missiles. He added that he would be happy to be wrong but notes that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence and the third time it becomes a system. On March the 24th, Russia conducted massive missile strikes on Ukraine. Russians attacked Ukrainian cities with 29 cruise missiles and 29 attack UAVs. Air Defense Forces destroyed 43 targets. Also, one of the Russian cruise missiles that attacked Ukraine flew into Poland for 39 seconds. 19 missiles and 7 attack drones striked Lviv Oblast, where they hit infrastructure facilities. In the morning, Russia attacked this facility once again with hypersonic missiles. It is noted that the Russian army fired Kinzhal missiles at a critical infrastructure facility in Lviv Oblast. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that last week Russia used nearly 190 missiles, 140 Shahed drones and 700 guided bomb units against Ukraine. 
Zelensky stressed that during more than two years of the full-scale war, there has not been a single week in which Russia has refrained from terror. And we are doing our best to make sure that the occupation contingent feels our quite fair response to this terror in the same way every week, every day. I am grateful to all of our heroes who destroy enemy logistics in the occupied territories, those who clear Crimea and the Black Sea of the occupiers' presence. This is a difficult task, but our warriors are completing it step by step. Everyone sees that, the president said.